Hello everyone, welcome to another tutorial for the next cloud installation series. Today we're talking about integrating your only office server with Nextcloud. If you found this video, I assume you know what only office document server is. Only office is a document editor, just like Microsoft Office Suite, but it's free and open source. And you can use it to edit your files, including Word, Excel, and other types of office files for free without having to pay a fee. You can download OpenOffice as a client on your Windows or Mac um, computers, or you can install it as a document server where you can access documents online on a web browser. Nextcloud comes with an OnlyOffice connector, and we're going to use that today to integrate Nextcloud and OnlyOffice uh, so you can make changes or edit your documents online directly from Nextcloud without having to uh, install um, an online or an editor on your machine. So if you notice right now after installing your Nextcloud, if you try to create a new Word file, you don't have the option here to create like Word files and Excel files. But once we install only Office um, or integrate only Office document server with Nextcloud, we'll be able to create files or create office files and edit them from our next cloud so in order for us to complete this we need two things we need a next cloud server which we have and we need an only office server and i'm assuming that since you found this video you already have that taken care of so without wasting any more time we're going to go ahead and start the configuration at this time, what you want to do is log into Nextcloud as administrator and we want to go into apps and then we're going to find the only office connector app. And once we find that, we're going to download and enable that app. Once you have the app downloaded and enabled, we're going to go to administration settings and we want to go on the left hand side and select only office. And once you have that selected, as you can see, we have the server settings and all we need to do is configure our server address and the secret key. A lot of the times when you try to configure the server address and the secret key on the Nextcloud web UI, you get all sorts of errors. So in order for us to successfully do this, we're going to have to set the secret key on the command line and then we're going to come back and enter the document server address. So for this video, I am logged in on both my Nextcloud servers command line and for my only Office document server command line. The first thing we want to do is go to our Nextcloud and open our config.php file. And once we do that, we want to determine where we're going to add our new settings. It doesn't really matter. You can add it anywhere, but I'm just going to add it right here. For you to do that, we're going to copy um some text and paste it in there i'm gonna have that added in the description once you paste that in there we're gonna create an array to put in our only office settings As you can see we have the only office um, array open and then we have a jwt secret and a jwt header so this is where we head back over to our document server and we're going to navigate and use our favorite text editor to open up um, a file called local.json in the Etsy only office document server slash local.json um, document server. And we're going to open the local.json file. Sorry. And once we do that, there's five things in here we need to take note for. If this is a new installation, this is usually blank, but you want to change the inbox and outboard header to authorization JWT. And once you do that, now for the inbox string for secret and outbox string and session string, you want to change this all to a password that you're going to remember. I have mine created. The passwords have to be the same for the three um, different options. So you're just going to create one password and paste it in here three times and once you do that now we're gonna have to copy the string for the secret and the um 
header, the inbox header, and we're going to use them here in our only office configuration. So the JW2 header is the inbox header. So once you paste that in here, you're also going to need to paste the JWT secret, which is also in that uh, configuration file. Once that's all complete, you're going to save that. And once you save that, we're going to head over back to our, our next cloud server. And if we refresh that page, we can see now that our secret key was automatically added. The only thing we need to do at this point is add our only office document service address any further for those of you who are using cloudflare as your dns management software you want to make sure that your um, host names for um, your next cloud and your document server uh, do not have the proxy option turned on if the proxy option is turned on this is not going to work so make sure that your um, next cloud is not proxy. Um, the only negative side to it is your IP address is going to be exposed every time someone access your next cloud instance. If you're willing to give that up, that's fine. Just turn that off. Um, the same for your only office because your only office, if your next cloud server is hosted externally, your only office also has to be hosted externally for this to work. So make sure both of those, the proxy option is turned off. And once that's done, we're just going to go back and now I'm going to enter the address of my only office server. Once you do that, if your only office has a valid TLS certificate, you don't have to disable certificate verification. But in my case, I didn't or I did not install a valid TLS certificate for my only office server. So I'm going to disable the certificate verification. If you do not do this, you're going to get um, a security warning and this uh, configuration is going to fail. So unless you have a valid TLS certificate, disable certificate verification. So once that's done, I'm going to hit save and that should automatically integrate only office and Nextcloud. Now that we have that connected, we see some more settings have been added. Here we can restrict who is able to use our only office server. Um, we can have Nextcloud use only office to generate document previews. We can select what kind of files on uh, Nextcloud is going to use only office to open them up. In my case, I added CSV docs and the other ones. Um, you can also add HTML or whatever you want. Uh, you can set different options like allow users who are collaborating on the same um, Word document, for example, for them to have a chat menu where they can chat about that document. Just sort of like how you can do with uh, Microsoft Office Suite when you're using it online. You can chat with people and collaborate while using documents. Um, you can change your editor's theme. And also you can create like word document templates and so forth and add them on there. You can take time to look at these settings, but we're not going to go through all of that. If not, this video is going to be really long. Um, so I'm going to go ahead now and save the settings. If we go back to our files, now we can go ahead and try to create um, a new document. Now, if we hit the plus sign, you can see we have a whole bunch of options added. Now we can create new documents, new spreadsheets, presentations, and we can open a file from a template. So we're just going to go and open a new spreadsheet and we'll call it test. And if you save that, um, I need to refresh my cookies and cache because of the changes I've been making. i make sure when you make these changes, you restart Apache server, but I'm just going to reload the page and that should work. As you can see only office, was successfully connected now we can create our excel files if there were multiple people we can chat as you can see the username also is added on here at the top so you know who you're talking with um, if we go back and do the same we can also try to create an office document and that too should work 
once again i need to restart apache you don't have to do this all time all the time this is happening to me since i'm doing these tutorials um my browser keeps caching stuff so if i reload now you can see um my only office was able to have me use or edit or create a word document online so thank you for watching this video uh, if you have any questions about integrating only office and next cloud please do not hesitate to leave it down at the comment section below um, please like the video and subscribe to the channel